Good morning, Tamina Khan is here in TK Maths is fun. In today's video, which is video number two on changing the subject, we will see algebraic fractions. <clears throat> in the earlier case, we had linear functions. So now let's make t the subject in this formula. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now whenever you have fraction, algebraic fraction, the first thing you have to try is to remove or get rid of fraction. How can I do that? By cross multiplication. So, t minus 3 will multiply by m. This is the first thing you have to do in the case of algebraic fraction. After that, you will see the letter which you have to make a subject. For example, t. Is it present in one term or two terms? In this case, it is present in two terms. So, you have to expand the bracket. Number one thing. So, let me expand m multiplied by t is empty. Minus 3m is equals to t plus 1. Now all those terms which have t bring them together and the rest to the other side. So empty this t will come here minus t this minus 3m will go to the other side will become plus 3m plus 1. Now after that you have to factorize to take t as a common factor because otherwise you cannot make it a subject. So t minus 1 is equals to 3m plus 1 and then we will divide we have seen in the previous video also so it will be 3m plus 1 divided by m minus 1 so you have so you have made t the subject i hope you understood every step if any step need more clarification please write it in the comment box okay so for the next question you can put the video on pause and try to solve it yourself first not solve rather make n the subject okay so you have to try to make n the subject so i'm explaining here if you need explanation you can listen else you can put the video on pause and try it yourself n is inside the square root so i need to bring it outside the square root so what should i do you are absolutely right i will square both sides so it will become t square is equals to n plus 3 over n i hope you understand like if i square both side this square will cancel with this and you will have t square is equals to n plus 3 plus n right let me remove this okay after that n is present in the denominator and in the numerator so i told you in the previous case we try to finish the fraction first so cross multiply t square n is equals to n plus 3 now n is present in two terms this one and this one so let's bring all n terms together this is step number two after that you have to factorize to get n out of it so if i factorize here it will be n bracket t square minus one equals to three and i'm sure you know now n is equals to three divided by t square minus one right this is how you will make n the subject which is in the square root so again you can try to solve this question i have to make x a subject and it is again in the square root so what will i do i will square both side when i will square both side the square root on the other side will be vanished it will cancel out now i have to make x the subject and x is present in numerator and denominator. So to bring it together, I will cross multiply first. y square x minus 1 is equal to 2x plus 1. Now x is present in two terms, so I have to expand the bracket. So it will be x y square minus y square is equal to 2x plus 1. Now x is present in this term and this term. So these two terms should be together and rest should go to the other side. So it will be 1 plus y square. Because minus y square when go to the other side will become plus. Now because I have to make x a subject so I will take a common factor out. What is left from here? y square minus 2. Agreed? And then after that you know cross multiply x is equals to 1 plus y square over y square minus 2. 
so this is how you will make x the subject now second last question last is the word problem now question is saying y is positive right i'm talking about this part and make y the subject again y is present here and inside the square root So first of all, I will take a square on both sides. It will become y square is equals to a y square plus n, right? I hope you understand. I have told you when you square both side, this is square cancel with this, and you are left with a y square plus n. Okay. Now y square is present in two terms, so I need to bring them together. And after that, I have to factorize because I have to make y a subject. and then ab now question is saying what make y the subject i have made y square a subject so what will i do now i will take a square root on both sides so it will cancel out agreed and usually we write plus minus with this square root but we are not writing because it is saying given that y is positive okay last question of the video which is in the word problem form now you will read very carefully what is the meaning of each letter so this is the formula to convert degree fahrenheit to celsius finding the formula find the formula to convert from degree to celsius and uh, what we have to make a subject f so if i see what it is saying 5 over 9 sorry let me write it literally i'm writing it here again 5 over 9 f minus 32 is equal to c this is the formula to convert degree into fahrenheit now of question is saying change the formula from fahrenheit to degree it means i have to make f a subject right so first of all i'll multiply by 9 over 5 to finish this 5 over 9 because if both side i multiply by 5 over 9 sorry 9 over 5 what will happen this will cancel out right so it will become five f Minus thirty-two. Oops, sorry. F minus thirty-two is equal to nine over five C, and then I have to make F a subject. F is equal to thirty-two plus nine over five C. So this is how you will change the formula from Fahrenheit to degree Celsius.